right, everyone. What is up here today, YouTube? Jigsaw0097 bringing you another unboxing. Sorry about this. The light is shining. There we go. Bring you another unboxing. This is the Dark Siders trilogy. Um, I finally was able to pick up Dark Siders 3, so I have all three games, um, physical editions, and I figured I'd make an unboxing for all three of them because I really haven't seen one out there. Um, and this is for people really that are like me that want to collect the physical copies of each game. So I'll go ahead here and just go over them one by one. So the first one, on, and, and keep in mind, these are all on next gen consoles. I got them for Xbox One, but I believe these are all for PS4 as well. Um, and Darksiders 1 and 2 were originally for the 360. Um, and the PS3 as well, like last gen, but these are the current remastered versions. And this is the first one, Darksiders War Mastered Edition. Um, like I said, this is the first game made. And just to give a little um, history real quick, as you guys can see, it says THQ Nordic and Nordic, and then Gunfire Games. Um, what happened was the first two Darksiders games came out under THQ before they went under. Um, in case you guys are wondering, this is also the publisher that did Saints Row. And THQ basically went under after Darksiders 2. I think it was like that same year, 2012. Um, THQ went under and a lot of people didn't know if we were going to get a Darksiders 3. We... Um, we didn't know what the future of that was. Same with Saints Row. I think we're still getting Saints Row games as well. I'm not sure who bought those out, but um, basically a lot of the IPs that THQ had just went wholesale and un the company Nordic Games bought it. Um, and I guess they've just renamed it now THQ Nordic. So that's um, just a little side note for you, anyone out there that's that's interested in, in the series. I've been a fan of Darksiders since it came out originally, so. Thought that'd be interesting but yeah so the first game war mastered edition on the back here you know just your standard stuff they've got the two languages um and then we'll go ahead and open it up here and i've already taken all these out of the saran wrap just for your guys's convenience but this is exactly what comes with the games i haven't added or removed anything as you guys can see no instruction manual um, which is really stupid, especially when you see when I show you what's in one of the games. Um, but yeah, just your disc and your box, no manual. So that is the first game. Um, the second game, Darksiders 2 Death Innative Edition. You guys can't really see it there because it's purple, but yeah, it's like hard to see. It's called the Death Innative Edition. Um, again, this is just another remaster of a game that already came out. But what's cool about this one, guys, is it comes with all of the DLC. Darksiders 2 had quite a bit of DLC, as you guys can see here. And it was kind of a pain to get. There was like these day one codes when this game came out. And if you didn't buy it day one, you couldn't get, um, I think it was the Abyssal Forge, which is like one of the most valuable DLCs in the game. So nice to have it all in one package. So if you buy this version, um, you'll get all that. And then we open it up, and voila, guys, a manual. I don't understand why all the games don't have this. Because this is actually, like, a decent manual. You know, it's got some moves and stuff in there. Sorry about this. Yeah, it's just got some moves and then, um, like, the warranty. But still, you know, it's a book, and it, it's nice to see it in there. So the second game comes with that, you know. It's a complete game. be nice if all three of them came with that, right? So, yeah. That's Darksiders 2. Go ahead and rearrange these. And then finally, Darksiders 3. This is the one that I just picked up. And what prompted me to want to make this video is so that I could show you guys all three games. But this one came out, I believe, at the end of last year. And it's pretty cheap now. I think I only paid like 20 bucks for this one. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what's in that. So Darksiders 3 on the back, you know, more of the same as the others. It's got the languages. Um, and then, of course, no manual in this one either. So yeah, two of the three games, guys, they cheap out on you, but oh well. Um, you know, it's still nice to have all the physical copies. And real quick before I close, I'll just let you guys kind of know what these games are all about if you are thinking about picking them up. So Darksiders 1 is kind of like a mix between 
God of War and Zelda. And keep in mind, like, all of these games actually have heavy God of War inspiration. And then they kind of just do their own thing. Um, after that, they kind of... They, they take, like, the combat of God of War, but then they have their own, like, mechanics. So this one has, like, Zelda style. And when I say that, I mean, like, there's, there's the dungeons and there's... Um, keys, you know, like how in Zelda you have to find keys in the dungeons to unlock. There's a lot of similar things like that. And it's also very Metroidvania. I think all three of them are pretty Metroidvania. Another reason why I love them. And what that means is basically you'll find areas in these games that you can't go to at first. And when you find the correct gear in this, um, usually it's, it's like um, in a dungeon. So once you get that gear, you can like go back and, you know, backtrack and all that. So this one is more like Diablo, I would say. Because this one implemented a loot system into the game with like the, the standard loot tiers like um, green, blue, purple, all that. Um, and But it still keeps the God of War style combat. These games are very combo focused and especially if you play on the hardest setting which is apocalyptic. Um, they're extremely challenging and fun. And then this one I'm really excited. I've not started it yet but they say that this one comes with or follows the Dark Souls style of RPG. Which is really cool. This, this is just what I love about the Darksiders games, guys. If you have not checked them out, um, I just love that each game they kind of do the same mechanics, but they reinvent it. And I don't even mind that they go from other... They, they take popular games and just kind of take their own spin on it. I, I just love that. So this one I'm really excited because Dark Souls... So basically you have Zelda, Diablo, Dark Souls. Those are the, the RPG mechanics that they, they go for. But yeah... Um, you can get all these games pretty cheap too now. I think that these two alone are like 20 bucks a piece. I think I spent 30 for this one. So really you can get the whole collection for like 70 bucks, 60 bucks probably if you track down a deal. So you can basically pay the full game, the whole price of one game and you can get the whole trilogy. And I would highly recommend um, everyone get these because they're a blast to play. And then before I close the video here, I will just go ahead and show you guys what the sidebars look like because um, I like showing those. So, yeah, guys, that is the video, the Dark Siders trilogy on Xbox One. Let me know if you guys have played this series, what you guys think. Um, I'd like to hear your comments down below. If you have not played the series, like I said, I highly recommend it. Go check it out. Um, and if you're new to the channel, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I will be doing video game unboxings regularly um, on this channel. But to all my returning viewers, I want to thank you so much for watching. This has been Jigsaw0097. I'll talk to you all later.